morning. I wrap Steam with your morning flash update for this Thursday, the 16th of March, 2023, 8 a.m. Central Time. I'm a bit early, but there's a lot going on that I'm early for. We have the European Central Bank announcement in about 15 minutes. We'll see what Miss Lagarde does. Is she going to go with the 50 basis points that she said? There are bets all over the table that she'll go 50, either 25 or none. I'm still of the opinion she's going to go the 50. And the reason is the Credit Suisse moment has been contained. And while she has gotten a huge break on inflation, I don't know that it's systematic. I, it, it's a break in energy prices that can just easily go back. What about the other core inflation problems that they have? So we'll see what she does there. But we all know the banking systems are rough. In the U.S., you're watching our markets down again. Now, we are not out of the woods in any stretch. First Republic Bank is under attack. Their stock is down another 30% this morning. The rating agencies are saying they are extremely vulnerable to depositor withdrawals, large amounts. The bank is a niche bank, in the, and it's got a lot of its money in mortgage-backed securities. Got to be careful here. So we'll see what happens. Are there suitors waiting for this bank? Well, in the past, RBC had talked about reaching out. I would imagine that's still the case there. Dollars down a little bit as traders are now squaring up, getting ready for whatever's going to happen here this morning. But let me show you another problem as to why the stock market is down. It's not just the banking issue. Housing starts solid. Look at this. Would you think they'd be up 10%? They were looking for the market up one-tenth. The permits are up. Look at this. 13%. They were looking up for just an eighth. So as the, what's happening is interest rates are falling, the opening is there. And people are seeing this in the business. They're going, let's get going. We got to get this out now. And why? Because when you see the mortgage resets, they're going to come in and they're going to come in nice and lower. And this could be where they just keep dropping at this point in time. Something that th this is looking at and there it's a go. That's the key. The Philly Fed, you saw the Empire State numbers. What's going on right now is business activity is slowing down from all this. Look at this, the activity index, negative 23.2. They were looking for a negative 15.5. So you're approaching where you were just prior to last month. Uh, all the numbers are in the red, if you look at it, by a big number. Look at inventories, though. That's down 11.2, so somebody's getting rid of product. That's a good sign. Jobless numbers. I This morning, when I was putting out my subscriber video for the futures, I said, this market's going to struggle to get a number over 200,000. The guess was 205, 210,000. I didn't agree. You're down to 192 again. And you fell back in the weekly claims. Now we get the European Central Bank coming out uh, in a few minutes here, 815. Treasury Secretary Yellen, you're going to want to see this. That's why I'm coming out early. There's so much I want to watch on TV today besides the, the March Madness, but this is what's going on. So what is she going to say about the banking? She's got to sound reassuring. Energy analysts looking for the EIA gas numbers to come in much less of a draw than is traditional. And in Switzerland, you saw that the Swiss National Bank came in and they are providing a lifeline of some $54 billion. But I'll tell you what's happening. Behind the scenes, when you have this much going on, what's really going on, and they're looking for a suitor for the Swiss National Bank. UBS is obviously the one that makes the most sense if it gets the guarantees at once. Otherwise, the bank should be split up. Different sections can go to different places. This is a bank that, as big as it is, and it's a big boy, um, it's just full of problems year after year, and they just can't get their act together. Uh, when the Saudis said no more money, that pretty much did it at, at that point. Now, I'm hoping you enjoy all these and you give me a thumbs up because it helps us in our ratings as we're going here on YouTube. Very important to us. And if you want to get the information that we're putting out, my take on the day's events, for example, I'll be writing about that at 1130 this morning. You want to get my newsletter? It's simple. Move your cursor up here. You'll see an icon. It says free offers. Go in there, sign up for a free offer to my newsletter. Away you go. I'm going to have an awful lot to talk about today. You have a great day. I'll catch you at the end of the day with our market wrap-ups. Trade well.